The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of The Pit Stop, where you, my sim racing friends, and I get to hang out for about an hour and talk about sim racing. How you all doing? Mic check. Mic's good. I see audio. I see video. I think everything's all good over here. Happy hump day. Happy birthday. I, I want to wish a happy birthday to Doug Hawley. Uh, Doug Hawley's had a, a, a up and down segment of time moving to Dakota and recently lost his father. Uh, but today is Doug's birthday. So if you guys know Doug Hawley, you guys go give him a pa big pat on the back, buy him a beer, whatever you like to do for your good friends. But Doug Hawley has been a longtime friend of mine. I've known Doug, oh gosh, 10 years now. Uh, Doug's been to my house. Uh, Doug is in my old RC N1 chassis. Um, I know, I know. I'm going to try to refrain. I should have to, I should have to do push-ups for singing. Uh, uh, but anyway, if you know Doug, please, please wish him the happiest of birthdays and let him know, uh, that he's important to all of us. Anyway, how are you? Uh, the beard, I've been holding the beard at a number seven on my trimmer. Um, I, I let it go beyond that and my brother and I took a photo, um, for my mom for Mother's Day. It's a long story. But obviously, we're not going to go see my mom uh, with the whole lockdown and all of that. So we're going to do a video dinner with her uh, via FaceTime. And what she doesn't know is that my brother and I, she has no modern pictures of me or my brother. So we took a couple pictures. We took a straight picture, like normal. And then we took a, don't think I mean something different, a funny picture. We did a, a COVID picture um to show uh so my mom could have a modern picture we had them framed and sent to her so they would be there for mother's day um how did i get on that uh, oh the beard we were talking about the beard so i did trim it up just a little bit for that <laughs> oh izzy you want to see the photo i would have it, you know okay uh my bless my mom i love my mom she's a great great woman and She's uh, really made my life wonderful, um, so I'm grateful. I will send myself an email. I don't know if I can get the exact right ones, though. Um, wrong keyboard, S, M, boom. Bear with me. Of course, Izzy. Izzy demands it. Uh, that's not the lookalike. Ah, GNS. There we go. Oh, gosh. I don't know which one we did. I'm just going to put two in here, but I don't know if it's the ones we actually did. Um, okay, here we go. <clears throat> my mom is a lovely lady all right i am gonna show you my brother and i okay bear with me almost there where's the other one ah i see i see <laughs> oh there's one of the pictures that mom got and then here's the other one yeah i have the microphone kind of in my noggin a little bit today don't i i can move the mic i'm just trying to get it in a spot where you guys get decent sound without putting it into the twitch face There we go. Yes, we do take things casually here on this show. All right, so there are the photos. Hopefully mom's not watching because this is a, totally a surprise. She has no clue. Again, my mom had uh, the most recent photo of me and my brother that my mom has is, oh, you guys can't see the pictures, duh, duh. <laughs> I'm so, you know, Twitch people just got a huge advantage. All right, let's try that again. 
Uh, let's bring down the news. There we go. There is our uh, COVID 2020 picture. And then here is the other one. The, the normal one. All right. Happy Mother's Day to my mom. Happy birthday to Doug. What is going on in sim racing? Jeez, we're five minutes in the show and we haven't even gotten anywhere. Uh, that was all because of the beard. That was just because somebody said the beard is growing. Um, Stan, let me move my pack. Yeah, oh, my brother is taller than me and has hair. You did notice that. That wasn't, you didn't miss that. Um, we'll, we'll do that again. Yep. <laughs> what size bowl does my brother use? Oh, John Hill, well played. Um, my brother and I were teammates. We were Cole Brothers Racing going back to the days of NASCAR 2003. My brother... When I was in karting, my brother bought himself a cart just to be able to go to the track with me on practice days, and he had the worst luck with his cart. And ever since then, my brother has completely refused to ever sim race or go kart or even attend a race. Like like his cart experience made him never do another motorsport related thing again, which is kind of sad. Uh, my brother was a uh, a, a fast driver. He was really good. It's okay, Joa. It's okay. I don't know if you noticed, but I uh, have a a calmer, more fun vibe about life than my brother. Um, so yes, he got the the he got the extra inch and a half of height. He got the hair. He got the looks. But I got the smile. And uh, I got the physique. <laughs> I did traumatize my brother when we were young. My brother is also the more responsible one. Um, he, my brother's a great guy, by the way, and he's uh, the biggest backer of this show that there is. So as I talk about my brother quitting racing and sim racing and everything to do with motorsport. He is the biggest backer of my my uh, show. The bod. Oh, yeah, you heard right, Joe. The bod. The physique. All right. All right. If, you know, should we just go right to the Sean lookalike contest and get to the news later? I feel like we can't even move on to the news. <laughs> Brad, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Um... No, but, like, my brother was the one who uh, sits at a desk and works 40 diligently so much better than I am capable of doing um, and always has been. Um, but I was the one who liked playing sports, liked, you know, putting myself in danger, liked getting hurt to an extent. Um, so we're to totally different personalities, if you know us. I mean, John Hill knows us. He... I, he John Hill will probably back me for everything I've just said. My, uh, we're very similar in a lot of ways, and we make great roommates for that reason. Um, do we need? I need an exchange rate to keep that going, Izzy. That can't be a one to one because you guys can literally put me in my grave. Um, so, but yes, I'd be willing. I will do. I will do exercise. Is my mic dropping? Is this a, a, a moving mic episode? Magic mic episode? Is this a magic mic episode? <laughs> 10 push-ups for $5. No, 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 no. The other way, Thunder, you're going the wrong way. It's more like $10 for five. <laughs> you know, Anthony, with Mother's Day coming up this weekend, I don't mind taking a version to say that as well. Uh, important family is the most important thing there is in life there really it really is it doesn't matter anything else you've got family first um and dropping mike needs <laughs> viagra <laughs> squats for do i'm not doing squats on camera brad there's no amount of money that's gonna make me 
We got 100 messages. There's no amount of uh, money that would make me do squats on camera. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? James Eden scores his third World of Outlaw Sprint Car win of 2020 at Belusha. I don't know if you guys saw this story yet, being that it's been up on my um, screen for like 15 minutes. Swindell Speed Labs, James Eden, becomes the first three-time winner of the 2020 iRacing World of Outlaws NOS Energy Sprint Car World Championship. I think, I really do think, that iRacing should really work on a longer title. The 2020 iRacing World of Outlaws NOS Energy Sprint Car World Championship. That's a stupid long title. <laughs> uh, it used to be like that, Anthony. It used to. I miss those days. I, I'm going to try. I, 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 I'm, my brother, you got to try the slow approach. You can't just hit him and be like, hey, get into sim racing. It's like, let's roundabout way get him in the rig right um <laughs> thunder yes you did but it's good i don't mind thunder i don't mind you know what with mother's day i i would i i don't mind um it's too long a title for the real series too rip i understand that but they did add 2020 i racing and i don't think world of outlaws do they call it the 2020 world of outlaws or do they just call it world of outlaws and then 2020 is the year of the championship um good morning devin booth and he puts up an f face emoji con <laughs> thank you for subscribing arvin nushi welcome to the show thank you for being part of the pit crew all right what else what else byron back in the e nascar i racing pro invitational series winner circle at dover they're talking william byron uh, Hendrick Motorsports, William Byron. I actually worked on his simulator. Uh, or wait. No, it was Alex Bowman? I can't remember. I've worked on so many sims at this point. Uh, Greg has not done VR racing here. He did VR racing at, at CXE at some point in time. Um, the title counts as a proper sentence. But, like... Is that how you title something? Thunder, are you trying to delay the show some more? <laughs> All right, so uh, William Byron back in the winter seat. Uh, let's see here. What were we talking about here? iRacing had some stuff, some stuff. Uh, Porsche virtual photography. Uh, Anthony Alfredo at 1230. This is yesterday on instagram uh here is the driver lineup for last night's race <clears throat> in the leaf filtered gutter protection the replacements i racing series there's a short title <clears throat> um uh, when i think of long titles by the way i'm just going to go back to what is sort of the tried and true for me the winston cup that was it that was the whole friggin name now we are talking NASCAR, so you're you're appealing to that particular audience. Um, oh my God, Izzy, we didn't negotiate yet. Super chat. This is equal to thirty dollars. That's fifteen push-ups. Oh, Izzy, thank you very much, buddy. I will take that challenge. I will take that challenge right now. Fifteen push-ups on the spot. Oh shoot. We almost gave you another 10. <laughs> I'm committed. I'm all in. All right. All right. 15 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I hit my head on the... Oh, it's just this cable. Okay. It freaked me out. Thought I smacked my noggin on the uh <laughs> I thought I I thought I snacked smacked my noggin on my monitor. <laughs> I have 
Jason, you never know what a person's line would be. Nothing's for sale until it's for sale, right? Ah. Uh. <laughs> the push-up cam. We're always adding to the show. Always. <laughs> All right. Back to the show. The Leaf Filter <laughs> Gutter Protection the replacements iRacing Series driver lineup for yesterday's race at Phoenix. Any of you all watch it? I did not. Um, Lights at Martinsville. That's not Phoenix. Uh, Friday Night Thunder. NASCAR. Pro Invitational on Saturday. That's what you got coming. And then there's our... Did we already talk about that? Wasn't that... No, no, no. Oh, they're just promoting the upcoming race. Supercars head to the home of the Belgian Grand Prix, including Lando Norris. Uh, that is off the scale crazy. We'll watch off the scale. They carry how much tire scrub do they get? Shane covers down the inside, and he's got a five foot wide Holden Commodore, and he's using it very wisely now. Anton wants to block pass, but can he get it done? Oh, yes, no. he does. He pulls together a perfect block pass, oh. but it comes undone. It comes undone at the critical moment. And Shane Gizzy is spinning out the other side and survives a perfect block pass oh! down the inside. And he's got a five foot wide Holden Commodore and he's using it very wisely now. Anton wants to block pass, but can he get it done? Yes, he does. He pulls together a perfect block pass, oh! but it comes undone. It comes undone at the critical moment. And Shane Gizzy is spinning out picture. the other side and survives oh, it. McLaughlin's going to do another Bradbury here. He did it in the Indy 175 on the weekend. They are three wide coming out of La Source. Ben Gisbergen's hanging on. The checkered flag is out. Oh. And Ben Gisbergen wins it after getting belted to death. <laughs> yes, in true sim racing fashion right there. They're up their credits. There's all right, all right, what else? Porsche talking about their eSport. And here's the rest of the week upcoming schedule for iRacing. Enjoy it while you can. Enjoy this while you can if you're liking it. So, yeah, uh, Martinsville. That's the pro under the lights. Thank you. Um, no, I'm not doing a crouch cam. <laughs> no, Joa. <laughs> Friday night thunder under the lights. Here we go. This one here. Friday night at Martinsville. Um, and then the pro invite at that. Thank you very much, Thunder. Uh, this one here, the pro invitational on Saturday, being the one from that newly created North Wilkesboro, with tomorrow night being that premiere show they talked about on the Dale Earnhardt channel. If you guys remember, we talked about that. Um, hey, Terry Crouch, how you doing? <laughs> I don't think they meant that kind of crouch. Um, <laughs> I agree, Shred. Aussie commentary. You've got to love that. Let's do that again. I, we already lost our monetization playing it once, I'm sure. Um, let's, I, that was really good, a good clip, and I kind of screwed it up moving back and forth. Where was that? Here we go. They're burning up their credits. There's money in the bank. Let's use it. So he's tucked right in behind. Deep Pasquale, he's got a run going here in the Penrite Racer. How much throttle do they carry? How much tyre scrub do they get? Shane covers down the inside. He's got a five-foot wide Holden Commodore, and he's using it very wisely now. Anton wants to block pass, but can he get it done? Yes, he does. He pulls together a perfect block pass, but it comes undone. It comes undone at the critical moment. And Shane Gizzy is spinning out the other side and survives it. McLaughlin's going to do another Bradbury here. He did it in the Indy 175 on the weekend. They are three wide coming out of La Source. Ben Gisbergen's hanging on. The checkered flag is out. And Ben Gisbergen wins it after getting belted to death. And into the wall go Waters and McLaughlin. They're burning up their credits. There's money in the bank. Let's use it. All right. I agree. Aussie commentation, tough to beat. Um, okay, Assetto Corsa Competizione. They're talking about the GT World Challenge Europe. This weekend's SRO eSport drivers will tackle Circuit Spa. We were just there for the pro and silver classes. Um, Great-looking photo, by the way. Check this out. 
Um, oh, wait. I have a video that relates to this. Where is that video? Ha <laughs> ha! That was immediately after that photo op. They got all their drivers out there to stage the cars for that beautiful photo. And then as soon as it was over, the people were like, okay, go ahead, go on out. And this is what... to do a simmies. We're going to call them the simmies. Sim racing Oscars. <laughs> I was thinking I hope it's Some things can be so beautiful that they must be destroyed. I'm sure you've heard people make that kind of statement. So here is something that was so beautiful that I guess it just couldn't be left to be. It had to be turned into this. By the way, if you did want to watch this video for yourself, you want to see these beautiful images, I do have a link to every topic we're talking about today in the description of the show. So just scroll down, you'll be able to go find the link to the Assetto Corsa Competizione Twitter page. You can find these images are stunning, by the way. I made that my thumbnail of the, today's show. If you think back to the beginning, that's what we were looking at. I, I just That's one of the best looking photos i mean i would i would print that out and put it on my wall it's so beautiful um so oh that's not fair dave blair <laughs> correct we're gonna be talking about that today as well thunder um what else what else uh gt here are the standings after round one Pharrell fifth there you go. All right. Um, and then AK Informatica are holding the ultimate all-star racing night over on Sky Sports Italia. This is today. I'm not sure what time. It was posted 23 hours ago. And you're going to have Valentino, Valentino Rossi. You're going to have, I don't know, half these names. You guys probably do. Charles Leclerc, Lano Norris, Albon, Latifi. And more. There you go. So that's going on at some point. 2100 CET. Not sure if that's like right now. That might be right now. Um, R Factor talking about their hot lap qualifier uh, for the Formula E. I don't have it. I was trying to find. I had seen a clip. This is from May 3rd. I don't think this is the one. Yeah, the chicane. Is this the chicane clip? No, this isn't the clip I saw. It's actually from the third. Here's a look at the replay. I presume this is with Mike Channel coming into the chicane. Boom! There goes your left front. What happened with Kelvin van der Linde? So here he was. Oh! <laughs> That's the one I had wow. seen. <laughs> That's where it went wrong for van der Linde. This is. Oh, that was Kuba Brzezinski. <laughs> uh, he's had an off. Has he got the inside for the chicane? It's going to be a brave one. Can't go side by side through there. Roiver's on the break. This is the one. You close your eyes. And he's through. Peo Pev across the line to win the challenge race. Oh, good fun. We are having fun. Uh, yes, yeah, so Hot Lap Qualifier is still going on. They posted this yesterday. New Hot Lap Qualifier for Formula E. Race at Home Challenge is now open. Race through the streets of Monaco and earn a spot on the grid alongside the Formula E pros where you can get taken out through a chicane like that. Um, 
prizes. They're going to give away prizes and multiple rounds of this going on. And we are down to the round three qualifier. Eight people are going to qualify through for this one at Monaco. So if you happen to be good at the Formula E car at Monaco in particular, then <laughs> Turbo Electric. <laughs> What else? It has a ring to it. Uh, Codemasters. Oh, there was an update. So version 1.14 of Dirt Rally 2.0 will be rolling out. This was actually yesterday. So we have a full patch notes. Uh, 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 oh, wait. That's a letter. No, no, no. Letters above. These are the patch notes. Uh, various different liveries made slightly easier, slightly harder. So they made certain tracks difficult, more difficult, more easy. Rally cross, bunch of updates to Dirt Rally 2.0. That's version 1.14. In addition to that, Dirt Rally, while journey remains flat out, the journey is about to begin. A letter to our incredible Dirt Rally 2.0 players. So if you go to that, you have a whole letter. Again, links to everything down below. Um, aren't all sim racing cars? Yeah, good point, Dave Blair. Um... Join the Sim Pit Rally. Give us more deets. Give us the deets. Uh, anyway, a letter to everybody of what's going on. What is going on? First simple, uh, Colin McRae, obviously. Thank you for driving us. While there are no plans for additional seasons, no plans for additional seasons for Dirt Rally, some minor updates and surprises are planned. At this stage, the rally team is now focusing on the future. By no means are we saying this is the end. For Dirt Rally 2.0, daily, weekly, monthly challenges live on. Clubs are stronger than ever, and you have plenty of eSport action to look forward to. Nothing's moving in terms of your usual hangouts, blah, 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 blah. Prepare to see something new roar to life in the world of dirt. We mentioned that just the other day. Do you guys remember that, by the way? There are the deets. Thank you very much, Devin Booth. You got a link right there in the description on Twitch. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Favre. The mic's still on. Um, well, Izzy, I think that's what they've been implying. This is the second post I've said that said... I, I think that they're going to go back to dirt. The OG dirt. Dirt 1, dirt 2 thinking. Um, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm crossing my fo fingers for. Um... There's a big, you know, we can talk all day about the difference between Dirt Rally and Dirt uh, 2.2. Uh, two, two. Um, <laughs> is the mic, no, is it seriously? Are you serious? Oh, man, I'm going to be so upset. Is it really dead? Are you guys messing with me? All right, bear with me. Oh, mamma mia. Mamma mia, papa pia, two ball bitch. Hold on, I gotta see what's going on here. Mike, Mike, you guys are lying to me. Okay, I don't know what went on there. All right. <laughs> I did not. Wait, 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 wait. When did I swear? What did I say? I need the word. I didn't swear. Mama Mia, Papa Pia. Two bald bitch. No, I did not. No, no. You guys play back on YouTube. I said, fuh, 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 fuh. Uh, <laughs> Streamlabs said I did. That's all there is to it. I did not. No, play it back. I did not. I am, I am, I'm willing to bet on this one that the word F you, you know what, did not come out. Um. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm not even going to argue with you guys. I'll give you 10 for the B word. I'm going to dispute the F word, and you will have to, um, 
you'll have to get me later. You'll have to show me the clip. Show me the clip. I didn't say it. The word did not come out. It was live on YouTube even if Twitch didn't have the, the chat. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. Matt, now... <laughs> now we'll have to see if the mic is still working. We're going to improve that soon enough. Um... <laughs> That's what I'm going with, Thunder. Thank you, Jason. All right, all right. So I think that I hope that I always felt that Dirt 2, Dirt 1, Dirt 2 had a lot of fun factor built into him. Um, like like uh, just a ton of it. That's what the game, it was a game. It was a game that drove like a sim, so to speak. And, and it had this fun factor that was immense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. We're going to have to fix some things. This is the new lit layout. We have not optimized the layout. Um. All right. Thank you, Devin. Thank you. My parcel? I'm getting a parcel? Who? Race and Jason, what did what was your question? Sound? No. No. Hold on, it might So sorry everybody. YouTube, please forgive me. Cause this isn't your issue or problem. Oh, Michael! You know, it's funny, I never knew your name. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be honest. So, okay, so everybody gets to know this. I need to go get a picture of the car. Um I ordered our Simpit Porsche. Bear with me here. Um, 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 hold on. Where is that gonna be? Shit. You guys didn't hear that, did you? Um, we just showed it the other day on the show. It was yesterday's thumbnail, even. Uh, the guys won in that Porsche. Um, nope, that's the Corvette. Oh, it's such a derail. Well, here's the car. Okay, there we go. There's the Porsche. So, if you guys don't know, all right, we're going to get back to Brad. I owe you 10. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, so, <laughs> uh, Michael Blake is hashtag Sim Mortal. And if you don't know him, he will turn die casts into your paint jobs. So, this is the Sim Racing uh, GTE Porsche for endurance racing that the guys just won this weekend. Uh, and. Michael's been working on this car. So anyway, I, I, I refuse to bother. You, at one point you had said, oh, it's coming soon. I'm like, okay, I'm not worried about it. And I, even though I'm really not worried about it, I'm really excited about it. So I watch, I go to Facebook every day looking for a message, but I don't say a word. I'm just patiently waiting. So I'm super duper excited. Uh, do you have a link or a website, Michael, that you can post on our thing or send it to me somehow? Tell me how you got it to me. And, um, yes, Izzy, it's that simple, but I'm not going to just do it because you guys typed it. <laughs> um, we're going to try to not harm our mic 
and we're gonna go to the push-up cam real quick and then we're gonna get back to the news Try not to drop anything this time, Sean. I think I'll just put my backpack right there on the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> okay, we're back. Let's try to get through some sh show here <laughs> let's try to get, move along just a little bit here dave blair only has an hour let's see where were we we we're right here okay so <laughs> claps i need to add claps i owe 11 on the next was that that wasn't nine i can count <laughs> happy birthday to you happy birthday to you everyone wish doug holly a happy birthday he's here in chat with us having a day off from work for his birthday happy birthday <laughs> i don't know if i have the clap all right uh, Dirt Rally versus Dirt 2. So, that's one of their series. They've got their Formula Series. They've got their Grid Series. They've got their Dirt Series. And it kind of converted from Dirt Rally, I mean, from Dirt Dirt 2, which were built around Fun Factor and morphed into Dirt Rally. And I often wondered if they were going to, like, separate the series back apart or if there was just going to be one lineage in the Dirt series. So, <laughs> why why push-ups now? Are you just testing things? Um, so anyway, I'm hoping that this new twist that they're talking about, and again, we on Monday I think we talked about a different article, but prepare to see something new roar to life in the world of Dirt. I don't think that just means like Dirt Rally 3. I think that means we can look to see something else going on um yes exactly debbie devin debbie hey debbie um dirt rally for the serious maybe and then dirt for the funsies <laughs> uh grid what's grid talking oh they had a poll so they had a poll amongst their people and 336 votes and the winning car was the nissan gtr nismo as the next car i believe they race a shorter version of the car I don't know. I don't know what they're doing over there at Grid, but they're doing it. Uh, here we go. Okay, a cold never. I almost dumped my coffee. Rubber at the corners. A cherry, a thundering fury. Oh, too bad, Doug. The difference between you and your rivals isn't just the war paint traded in battle. It's more. Exactly, Heiko. Refuse to lose. NASCAR P5. Boom, 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 boom. All right. There you go. NASCAR Heat 5 is coming. With hot rubber at the corners. I actually have a contact at NASCAR Heat now. One of my longtime industry friends, Andy Gray, works there. So I actually uh, might actually be able to get some things going on. Anyway, uh, in addition to that, they have their all-star event March 21st. Wait. Isn't it May? <laughs> don't talk about that. I don't know how I turned that and got that up. Uh, what else? All the teams. Hendrick talking about NASCAR 5. Stuart Haas talking about NASCAR 5. Um, Watkins Glenn talking about NASCAR 5. NASCAR and NBC talking about NASCAR 5. Mike Braz talking about the Pro League. Um, 
then we have some people talking about their things. Introducing the mullet. Smoke fan 14. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. NASCAR 5 set for July 7th and 10th release. NBC Sports. The fifth edition of the game series from produced for 704 Games is set to be released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC in July. Uh, July 7th for the Gold Edition. I see what they're doing there. And July 10th for the Standard Edition. So if you want to get it three days early, give us extra money and we'll give you a free Gumby paint scheme. Game of the Year, according to Billy Strange. Uh, their website is very dated. I agree. Uh, what else? Tonight at Dover. Dover, take on the Monster Mile. That was posted an hour ago. 5 o'clock my time, 8 o'clock Eastern time will be their NASCAR Heat Pro League race. So if you want to check that out, there it is. Forza Racers. Brian Herta is back with another Forza Motorsport Veloster Challenge against the pros. The race starts May 7th. That's tomorrow. Um, Forza Racers take this seat and race against Brian Herta and the factory Hyundai drivers in the Veloster on... I wonder if uh, Michael Lewis, I wonder if my buddy Michael Lewis, who is a Veloster, Hyundai Veloster GT Challenge, I think it's GT Challenge, driver for Brian Herta Racing. I wonder if Michael Lewis is going to be. He's uh, Michael Lewis is a very fast sim racer. So he is probably a little bit quicker than I am. Notice how I call that very fast. Nice pat on the back. I thought this is really cool. Gran Turismo. This is what it's all about. I guess they thought it was really cool, so I should um, give credit where credit is due. Maestro posted at Igor Fraga and Hazel McCall and Kieran30 at FH, F4H Super GT and Jimmy Broadbent. You guys are absolutely amazing. My son at Talking Boy Racer wrote a dream about racing, IOF racing in his near future. He's 10 years old and sees you guys as huge inspiration. Thanks for being awesome. Remember I talked about the day that we get kids who want to wear the jerseys of sim racing champions? You know, when when this whole pro esport thing came in and took over and all of a sudden we're supposed to forget about our Igor Fragas or our Mikhail Hazal and, and, and focus on, you know, the, the Lando Norris's even. Um, it takes away from this dream that I had that someday, and I felt like we were kind of getting there, and, and maybe when the dust settles, we will have gone through a growth curve that will really help. But literally, look at this Look at this handwritten note by a 10-year-old. My dream, my dream is to win the IOF racing, not sure, 2020, when it starts first and I start last, so my dreams can be reality. Thanks to my dad, in the above paragraph, my details are track, Nordschleife, drivers, IOF, and Reicher, cars, Red Bull, X2014 competition. Anyway, he's got uh, fuel, everything written down, all the details of his dream to win. Ten years old, writing it down on paper, motivated by eSport pros and broadcasters of today. Um, it is what it's all about, as Gran Turismo put it. I, I love it. Um... <laughs> is he <laughs> James James and Izzy here for the uh, comedy relief James by the way you started something that is being finished well the next phase of it begins today on this show so in just a few minutes we're going to get to it um <laughs> Uh, race room round two of the Porsche Community Legends competition is live now. That was yesterday. Uh, you can watch it there on YouTube. They've got a link to that. Race room is going into a scheduled maintenance mode, and here is the latest change log for them. And they're down yesterday doing this 1.1 gigabyte update. Here's our change list, some controller issues, some content updates, and so on and so on. You can read about that. Links to everything are down there in the description of the show on YouTube. I just realized we don't do that on Twitch because Twitch doesn't really do that. Um. <laughs> it's Brad, be, let's be clear. It's which child you should kill, not killing generals, children as a general concept. It's a selection process. 
Um. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Devin. Thank you. Uh, Harry's, how do we compare shaving? I mean, do you guys shave? Are, are you old enough to shave? And how do you compare? No, that's just an ad. Grand PX News, talking about this one. Designer says Zanvort. This new version of Zanvort in the F1 game. Designer says Zanvort, not accurate in F1 game. Zanvort circuit architect Jarno Zafelli says the Dutch GP's venue dis depiction of the official Formula One video game for 2020 is not accurate. Um, I saw this all over the place. I didn't even read the article. The headline was good enough. If you guys want to know how inaccurate it is, you can go follow the description below and go do that. Hey, no, 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 Izzy. No, 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 no. Um, I'm not going to say that that's my favorite sim in the world. I am going to say that different strokes for different folks. Anybody, if you told me that you liked playing Mario Kart, I'd be like, hey, awesome. Enjoy. Have fun. I have nothing bad to say about anything. Nothing. You don't see the rant, rant hat. <laughs> Help build a sim rig. Uh, I am not encouraging you to go do, I am not encouraging you to go do this. It just made me laugh. So I figured if it made me laugh, maybe, hey, here's one approach. Start a GoFundMe. Help build a sim racing rig. Guy's got a $5,000 goal. Michael Druid is his name. He's organizing this fundraiser. Thanks for checking out this page. Essentially, we're trying to get enough funds together to build a sim racing rig. The reason? His sister-in-law. She's fascinated by everything Formula One, and she's not in any position to afford any of the gear that's required to make it happen. And unfortunately, neither is he. We would love to make her dreams come true. There you go. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm not encouraging you to donate as much as, hey, maybe you should start your own GoFundMe for your sim rig. Maybe I should start a GoFundMe. Uh, Bobby, I think a little bit, but I'm not nearly as concerned about the image portrayal as the amount of people that are coming in. Because you can't deny how many people, like if you log on to um, uh, iRacing, how many people are playing right now. So I think, I think it's still working in our favor. I don't think it ne necessarily puts us in the best light. And I have to admit, I have seen some very... Uh, um, good racing and i've seen some very questionable racing um <laughs> i'm not saying i just made me laugh bmw bmw indoor invitational is a golf tournament from home so bmw is now turning their uh following the success sim racing events are experiencing right now bmw is seemingly interested in trying to replicate the formula in other sports as well as some of you may know, BMW has been hosting golf tournaments for quite some time. Here's a shot of them being a big tournament hoster. Um, Trackman, European Tour, shares aspiration to also drive golf further with digital format. Um, too bad they're not playing our, um, our game. They're going to play courses, golf club, munchen, aichin ride. BMW Internet and Landmark. Anyway, I'd play some uh, virtual tournament golf. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what else? The uh, Just another one. This just shows you. I, the only reason I'm posting this isn't because I want you to read it. If you're looking for new gear, go check it out. Link's in the description below. Just yet another article being timed around what people are seeing and hearing on TV. Um, I, I don't... Bra Izzy... I'm going to tell you, this browser has been 100% designed around sim racing. So the only reason you're seeing any ads is because whatever we sim racers, if you look it up at nothing but sim racing sites, what it thinks our demographic is is how it's choosing the ads. Um, there's a reason I use this browser and not that browser, just to be clear. <laughs> Zero, that is a little interesting, isn't it? Again, I think it's the demographic. If you look for racing all day long, it probably assumes you're a 35-year-old male. That's my guess. 
Dave Blair, you didn't even make an hour. Yeah, and I played that. I actually played uh, that a version of that at like Dave and Buster's or something uh, a while back. So, no, I'm not manscaping. Uh, anyway, just another uh, person uh, writing an article on getting into sim racing because you have so many people getting new to the sport or intrigued or curious about it. So even the road show getting in on that. Um, want a sim rig? You're out of luck. Yeah. You're clearly not the only one car enthusiast who's bored out of their skull. Right now, the demand for every... It's not just sim racing, by the way. The demand for gear, uh, the amount of demand for um, other things. I mean, try to buy a web camera. I'm sure it's starting to get better now, but not quite yet. Anyway, hard to even get sim racing gear if you want to get into it. Cart Express, talking about their Canadian carter, Patrick Woods. Toth is the first champion... Of the Rotax Sim Racing Challenge. Well, it looks like Skippy's, not Rotax's. But uh, it looks like they even converted their karting championship into a virtual championship and got a fair amount of their guys in it. Uh, World of Outlaws, the the World of Outlaws site, talking about Brad Sweet preparing to get back to racing at Knoxville May 8th. Um, but he's been enjoying his time with iRacing, but he's eager to get back to his real sprint car. No doubt about it. Many many racers are. Robert Wickens talking about just being thrilled to be able to race anything at all. So this has been a great opportunity for him as his career has been sidelined from that horrific accident and seeing if he can rehabilitate to the point of being able to race again. But right now, at least with sim racing, he's able to stay competitive. Hey, like we said earlier, if you're a racer, you're a race. Oh, it's Anthony. Anthony was talking about uh, being injured. And even if you're injured, you know, and, and we could joke about injured, but there are all sorts of things going to impact your ability to even sim race. Um, but if you're a racer, I mean, I David Grunnell, I'm going to give David Grunnell and Anthony Murano two Ironman trophies. John Hill could almost get one as well for coming out of uh, rehab early to sim race. But, I mean, you get something wrong with your back, your leg, your arm, your shoulder, it might make it nearly impossible to sim race. So we all know what it's like to be sidelined and not be able to do the things that we have passion for. Robert Wickens, like us, he has passion for racing. He can't do it in real life just yet, but he can still do it through sim racing. Uh, Luca Ghiotti, talking about his first laps he did in the game, was actually his qualifying lap. So it's, so many drivers are trying to adapt, you know, pro drivers trying to adapt. I mean, I've had a few calls to do installs for pro drivers trying to get into and, and part of the whole eSport thing going on. Because if you're not, let's face it, if you're not Kimmy... Um, you need the limelight for your career to continue moving forward, to continue growing. You can't have a season off. If you're an F2 driver, you can't sit sidelined unless you don't want to be a motorsport person anymore. Uh, anyway, you've got so many drivers who are getting it, but then it's like, okay, so they pick up the phone, they, they call one of their buddies who probably sim race and says, well, what do I do? And they're like, well, maybe you should call up R seat or P1 and, uh, and sim labs and get a rig and you want to get this wheel and you're going to, you know, but then they start ordering it and that's stuff, stuff, takes a long time to get in. Uh, right now we have uh, stocking issues, even if you're a pro, if they don't have it, they can't ship it. Uh, anyway, he didn't get his rig until saturday and literally his first laps were during qualifying and he actually did very well by the way finished like seventh i think qualified like 18th but finished seventh um yes heiko you get an iron man trophy as well all right sim stars the rally cross ace turned i racing world champion do you guys know his name do you know who that is just by looking at him i'm just wondering are we getting to the point where you know our sim racing stars by their face. Who would have thought that sim racing would have led to you being able to identify a sim racer by his facial persona? I, I, Mitchell DeHong, that's who that is, by the way. Hey, legendary Shidan. Sh I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw that up and apologize right now. If I said that wrong, I'm sure I did. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, here's an article here by The Race talking about uh, Simstar. The Rallycross Ace turned iRacing World Champion. Mitchell DeJong has had a dual sport career 
um, of real life running in the American Rallycross Championship until it went under, um, and then being an iRacing champion both simultaneous before and after the fact. One of the best sim racers in any discipline, but absolutely the best that I can think of in the world of uh, iRacing Rally. Uh, Volkswagen Motorsport India collaborates with IR Esport for Indian Sim Racing League Season Number 2. So they're going to recontinue the VW affiliation with that Motorsport India League. Good to see for the future. Looking for work? I don't know who this is for, but writer for Sim Racing Articles, Gaming, Racing Wheel, and Related Hardware. You want to do some writing? Forget Upwork and forget whoever this is. It says posted in India, by the way. The Sim Race, the Sim Pit is always looking for help around here. Um, there are things that, that if, if, if it's a huge asset, I'd even be willing to pay you for your work. If you want to help out and help the show be better and grow, I'm looking for writers. I'm looking for artists. I'm looking for editors. I'm looking for website people. I'm looking for social media pros. I need somebody who knows the social media. Let's face it. I'm 50, 51 years old. I, I'll be 52 in a couple of weeks, by the way. Um, I don't know social media like these youngsters do. If you want to work in the sim racing industry, if you want to have uh, access to some privy information and be part of the scene here at the Sim Pit, hit me up, Sean, S-H-A-U-N at the simpit.com. Otherwise, you could go check out this Indian writer where you could write a what is a force feedback article or best... Racing wheel for Xbox One under 500. Oh, look, someone's already hitting me up for the job. I can't believe it. I'm sweating. I should have turned the air conditioning down. Uh, Next Level Racing have just updated their platform manager to include three new titles, that being Cartcraft, Grid 2019, and newly released Automobilista 2. If you're running any of their latest motion hardware, make sure to click on the help and support button on the platform manager to update to their new version. Um, Thunder Motorsports, if you are good at, if you really are serious, hit me up, Sean, S-H-A-U-N, at the simpit.com. What I don't know anything about, um, I'll do 104 push-ups on my 52nd birthday. Why would I give you two for one? Um... Don't you think you should have answered that? Uh, I do have problems with porn. I missed what I was supposed to answer. Uh, thank you for that, Heiko. Holy! Oh, 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 oh my! All right, so how hard is it to get sim racing gear? I remember when this happened with the G25 way back when. I have a friend, Frosty, I believe, um, who bought up like 10 G25s when they first came out. And then they were out of stock. And he was selling those things for like 600 bucks. But check this out. <laughs> that is a world record. All right. Next level, here we go. Uh, Formula Retro Racing arrives May 15th for Xbox One and Steam. What about PS4? Uh, if you want to play Formula Retro, you're going to be able to play it. Here's a good look. I'm guessing that's Monaco. <laughs> that is brutal. It's the new DD wheel. <laughs> it's the new Logitech Direct Drive wheel, only $1,300. Well played. Uh, let's see, Project Cars 2 is on sale. 80% off standard deluxe editions. All DLC is 50% off. If you never got it, if you're bored out of your mind on your lockdown, you can play Project Cars 3, a.k.a. AMS 2, or you can get Project Cars 2 with an 80% discount. Uh, right now off of Steam. So if you never played it, I would definitely recommend Project Cars 2. You'll get your, um, if it's 80% off, you will get your funds worth if you've never played it before. And brutal. It's like a kick in the balls. I can say balls, can't I? Um, release date and physical edition revealed for the internal drift on the Xbox One Switch, 
PS4 and PC. What is it? What is it? We first heard of it. Blah, 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 back in 2020. August 7th. There we go. That's when you're going to be able to see it. August 7th. You'll be able to play. In Iner inertial drift. Not internal. Inertial drift. I did see the two more choices, but even $500 is a kick in the balls. Billy Strange Racing. Check out Billy Strange Racing on YouTube. Billy, sorry, I haven't done that yet. I, You know what I'm talking about, I think. I got super delayed on things, as usual. I do have my weekend coming starting right when this show's over. This is my Friday, by the way. Wednesday is my Friday. My weekend begins right now. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to try very hard to get that done. Lionheart Drivers Prepare for Battle at Barber. Um, I don't know why I'm telling you. I usually don't tell you about... Uh, uh, pre-race stuff, but I heard Tony Kanon is maybe going to be part of the Lionheart series coming up soon. I like the idea of guys like Sage Karam or Tony Kanon running in Lionheart and, and like, the guys who are good at sim racing who want to compete against us come into our world rather than they recreate their little tiny world in our world so that they can be so well at least they so they can embarrass themselves i guess um <laughs> and that takes us to rigs you know what that means it means we're down to the end of the show diy sim rig quarantine style taking advantage some time off i'm assuming it is what do you call this this is a platform rickmo tech inspired deathmobile that it looks like he just like bolted his desk chair to that, which is pretty genius to get the right angle. You can see his nice Thrustmaster setup there with Fanatic. No, those are Thrustmaster pedals. Those are the new TLCM pedals with a nice looking T300 wheel. I see a webcam, so he streams. I see a tablet for him to get his um, um, dashboard info. Nice looking setup here. Look at that. I should have zoomed in a while ago. I'm going to guess this guy is a 3D printer, maybe? Or is that just a purchasable RAM mount? That's a purchasable RAM mount. There's his webcam. Nice looking. Who is this by? Let's give credit where credit is due. This is by UWW Punt, Puntoit. Puntoit. WWW Puntoit. Nine hours ago. DIY simmering quarantine style. Uh, what else do we have? Here's another one. This one posted by Go ham or go home 69 after a two-day build it's finally finished from a wooden desk and a g27 to this next stop dd no doubt about it he's got his club sport uh that's a csl base what is that look at this button box contraption anyone anyone know what that is that is the biggest stream deck i've ever seen does anybody know what this right here is? It's a music pad. I have that keyboard. No, I have a better keyboard than that. Ooh, look at my keyboard. Ooh. Can you use a launch pad to be a button box? to music you go oh, look at that many of you guys knew dance dance revolution <laughs> what's a high score is that bad did i break it all right what else uh this one posted by luke mobius clean af from botos so there is botos's setup that's a Zwift, by the way. That's uh, pretty clean. Look at that computer, you guys. Damn! You link sam samples so you can do music live. All right, I'm so not part of the DJ scene. When I was talking about uh, uh, social media, I think that coincides. Like, if you knew what that was, you're probably better at social social media than I am. <laughs> Derek Spear, use a button box to be a button box. <laughs> 
Speaking of, I have almost got that wheel ready to go together, Derek. We are getting very, very close. Um, I had to reprint some things in order to accommodate our new hardware, but it is looking really nice. Anyway, speaking of, that's quite the setup right there. And I move along. Is that a really nice double-wide trailer? <laughs> I doubt it very much. <laughs> Yeah, that's quite the computer. All right, you know what? I just realized I'm scorching hot. I'm sweating. It means we got to get this show off the air. 10.05. Uh, reminder, everyone. Uh, what's going on the rest of the week? So this is Wednesday. My my weekend begins right now. So you're not going to see or hear a lot of me, but I am going to be working on my weekend. So we're not done. Um, Friday morning, there will be nothing because that's still part of my weekend. From uh, lunch to lunch on Friday is my weekend. Anyway... Uh, Friday at 5 o'clock, we'll have our pit stop. Friday at 6 o'clock, we will have our Simpit Oval Series. Saturday morning at 10 a.m. is going to be three wide with Devin Booth, Amir Asad, and me. We have a few different talk topics to talk about. You'll be able to see and hear from Devin and Amir and their thoughts and opinions on things. Uh, Amir, Devin, do you recall our topics for this weekend? Maybe give people a preview. Uh, that is Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Saturday morning at 11 a.m. is our Simpit Patron Appreciation Race. Uh, you want to know how I'm able to have this AT2020 mic, get the new lighting, get the new green screen, get the 3D printer. It is because of the support of the Simpit Patron Group. The Simpit Patron Group has changed the face of the Simpit in the best of ways. We get everything up to speed, and this show is really going to be doing well, and a lot of it is because of the help from those guys. Uh, that race is going to be at 11 a.m. You've probably seen my trophies in the past. We're going to have a new trophy for the race winner. In addition to that, I will be giving away a Simpit t-shirt to one random patron team member as well. Um, but that is it. Oh, that isn't it. Uh-oh. That isn't it. We No, no. Yeah. This is it. So, James, Gamer Muscle, you're here. One day, James came into my show. And decided in the middle of a pit stop when we're having a lot of fun talking about the news, James decided, I'm going to F with Sean, and I'm going to completely derail the show. And he showed some link to some YouTuber, some Amish house slash food builder that he thought I looked like. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why, I don't know how, but that spawned the Who Does Sean Look Like contest. And so I've allowed submissions for a bunch of people to send in pictures. Everybody could send them in. And we got about 16 different entries. And right now there is a link in the description of the show below. And that will allow you to vote. The top winner is going to win a Simpit Care Package. That being a Simpit t-shirt, mouse pad, and sticker. Uh, I'm going to show you a few of the entries. Why not? All right, James, you started it. Here we go. Some people, oh, no, we're not voting. Some people think that I look like Barry Rollins of Sim Racing Garage. What do you think? <laughs> um, some people think that I, with Darren, look like De Niro and Rickles from Casino. This was an interesting one sent in. This was just a take your pick. I don't even know. Uh, what's this guy's name? I don't know. That's, uh, uh, what's his face from, what's it called? and the Adams Family, and, or is it a minion? Uh, do I look like Garth? Uh, the pics, do I look like a dancing baby? Do I look like Homer doing push-ups? <laughs> do I look like Gary of Exodus? <laughs> Uncle Fester. Do I look like hills from the eye uh, have eyes? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what this is. This is a Sean Cole Patrick Stewart mosh. The link to you, if you want to vote on which one you think I look most, do I look most like Vern? Do I look most like Scott Hamilton? Do I look most like Trump? <laughs> Do I look like Voldemort? Paul Giamatti. 
<laughs> yeah, Devin did. Devin did. Is he? We're getting there. Brian just said, "You look like my coworker." <laughs> Do I look like? No, I don't. Yeah, David Beckham. <laughs> Do I look like? Oh no, the Six Flag Dancing Man. No, 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 no. Do I look like Bruce Willis? <laughs> That's flattering, but no. Do I look like? We'll do this one first. Someone said, I just look like China's boob. There I am, snuck in there. Anyone wonders what my image is up on our Discord channel, by the way? That is Sean the boob with the <laughs> with the corona mask. The studded corona mask. Um, And then lastly, or do I look like Devin's wife? <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. The link to make your selection is in... The description of the show please vote uh the best pick the best vote the most picked i'm not going to say it's the best the most picked is going to win a sim pick care package that being the sean cole uh not the sean cole you're going to get the sim pit t-shirt mouse pad and uh sticker boob head yep that was gold i love it sean the boob anyway that is going to do it for today's show i hope you had fun i sure did happy hump day to everybody i will be a little away working on edited projects doing nothing but that between now and friday friday night we'll be pit stop at five don't forget it's the evening edition of the pit stop followed by the simpit oval series but that's going to do it for this one happy birthday doug holly get out there do some sim racing this is the simpit i'm sean cole and i'll see you on the track